Hello everybody, I am here today with a Harry Slatkin Homeworks Candles. Um, he had them on HSN. Um, they were only like $38 and change for two sets. He had three sets and I bought all three. So they sounded good. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them to you. The first set I got was he had gourmand, floral, and fruity. Uh, this is the gourmand. This is bananas foster scented candle. Bananas foster, and it's just this wrap around like this around the whole candle. It's this silver wrap around is really pretty. It's got just um, a regular wick with his insignia on it. And the scent notes are, or fragrance notes, banana, cinnamon, dark rum, brown sugar. These are 18 ounces and they burn 30 to 55 hours. I'll show you that. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. Hopefully. Okay. These are four wick candles. They are so substan substantial. They're very heavy. Okay, I've already burnt this one once. So that's what that looks like. Okay, it burned um, fairly quickly. Within an hour, this was pulled out. Now this one smells really good to me. It's definitely banana but it's not fresh banana. It's not candied banana. I've never had banana foster, but I assume this is what a banana would smell like when cooked or flambéed, whatever they do with it. It smells really good. Um, I get the brown sugar. The brown sugar is very sweet. It definitely smells dessert-ish. I don't get any cinnamon. It's windy out today. Ugh. And I do get the rum note. There's a booziness to it. I like it. I have to say, though, I only did one burn. I only burned it for like two hours I think um, I could only get the scent in the room I was burning it in so I was hoping it would be a little bit stronger but you know subsequent burns it may the one that came with that one is coconut sorbet it's coconut sorbet and this one is shaved coconut, white nectarine, chilled vanilla, and sugar. Ugh. I never know which way to turn it for the camera. And of course, they all have the same wrap around. Now this one, uh, how they come is they come with this little cover here to protect the wicks, I believe. And then they come with a dust cover. And make sure they please take the dust cover off. It even says to discard it, but you know, you never know. That's what that one looks like. This one is delicious. You definitely get like that shaved coconut, like. It smells like a fresh coconut. It doesn't smell like um, um, suntan lotion coconut. Um, it's not toasted coconut. It's just a fresh coconut. Um, I don't smell the white nectarine. No, I really don't. Hmm. 
I don't know what that is. Um, the chilled vanilla, I do get like a chili, icy vibe to it, if that makes any sense. It's, yeah, it's creamy. So that's where the chilled vanilla comes in. And it has a bit of sweetness to it, but not overly sweet at all. Um, it's really good. I wish, I wish, I wish I could smell that nectar ring. I don't, I don't smell the nectar ring. But I'm excited to, um, you know, do that one. Okay, the next one, let me see here. Got these candles. Okay, the next one is the fruity. Uh, watermelon lemonade. Okay. And I just love this wax. Um, fragrance notes. Fresh squeezed lemon, mandarin orange, sugared watermelon, and raspberry. And again, we get the little... Ooh, we can smell that watermelon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I'll let you read the notes, too. I wasn't too sure about this one when I first got it because I've never really cared for Bath and Body Works watermelon lemonade. This one's good. The watermelon is coming out more. It's it smells like a fresh watermelon to my nose. Um. I'm getting the um, raspberry in this too. I can smell a little bit of raspberry. And the fresh squeezed lemon. Now I don't smell orange. When I first got this, the lemon was overpowering the watermelon and I just, I don't know. I love lemon and I love watermelon. But this combination at first, it was like, no. But now, I like it. The, the watermelon is more predominant to, oops, putting this on upside down, uh, to my nose. So, yeah. Um, it's actually pretty good. Okay, the next one in the fruit is Honeydew Cooler. And the notes for this guy is honeydew, melon, berry, and vanilla. Okay. Take all the stuff that's out. And how do they flipping cat hair again in there? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's what it looks like. Beautiful, isn't it? I love that color. This is straight up honeydew. What else am I smelling? I'm not really smelling berry. I'm smelling honeydew and melon. Like cantaloupe. Kind of smells like cantaloupe. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but I'm kind of getting that, you know, vibe, for lack of a better word. Um, I just, I can't, I can't pull the like berry out, but I mean, gosh, this reminds me of like. You can smell the rind of the melon. It's really good. All right, the last. Yeah, the last one is the florals collection. This is pear blossom. Ooh, 
Really? You sure? Okay. This is pear, camellia blossom, water lily, and peach. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Such a pretty floral. Okay. I am getting the water lily and the camellia blossom. And I I don't get pear, okay? But there's kind of like a peachy vibe in there. But it's very, very subtle. Very subtle. Oh, this would be beautiful in a perfume. This is very feminine and soft. I like that one. And I'm not like majorly into florals, but certain ones. Yeah. Okay, the last one I got is white tea leaf. White tea leaf. And the scent notes on this are white tea leaf, white tea leaf, bergamot, verbena, and carnation blossom. Okay. And I love how all the, the wax is like just springy colors. <clears throat> this one's green. This one's beautiful too. I definitely get the white tea. And I can smell the carnations. Now like carnations, I know they're just kind of like, you know, your run of the mill flower used for everything, but carnations have always been my favorite ever since I was a little girl. My second favorite is roses. But carnations, I just, I've always loved them. My dad used to grow a bunch of different colored carnations in our yard when I was growing up. Oh gosh. Yeah, the carnation, I love that scent. Um, get a little bit of the verbena. And bergamot, it's got, so it's got a little bit of a citrusy note to it. That's just a really pretty, um, fresh. The carnation kind of gives it like a greenery type, um, feel to it. Mmm, that was really good. And then, last thing I bought, is he had these candle holders. Um, so I got it. I got this one. Um, it's a sunflower. Isn't it gorgeous? If I can get it in the frame here. It's, it's huge. And it's, it's weighty. This is what it looks like on the, where the candle sits. The back of it is felt, so it won't scratch up your furniture and has Harry's signature on it. Um, I think they said this was made with resin and then dipped, dipped in this, um, like silver finish. Um, and he's not going to be making any more of these. Maybe next year, maybe not. Um, I know they all sold out. I'm pretty sure they're sold out. He had this one. He had... A bamboo one, a bird's nest, and a, a seashell one. I wanted the sea, seashell one because I kind of have like ocean stuff in my living room type, you know. Uh, but so I decided to go with this one. The bamboo one was pretty, uh, but to me it was kind of too plain. Like the thing, cool thing about, well, let me show you. 
Candles fit perfectly on this bad boy, see? It's really pretty. The cool thing about this is you could put anything on it. You could put Yankee candles, Bath and Body Works candles, uh, whatever brand, whatever size. You could also put a base on here or, you know, if you have those can LED candles or whatever. I mean, this is so versatile. You could just, oops, put anything on it. And, um, yeah, because I don't always, I don't, can I even talk today? Oh my gosh. Like, my brain is going faster than my mouth. I don't think I'm always going to use candles on this. I'm going to probably put, like, find a nice base or something to eventually put on it and just use it as a stand. So, anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Um... Yeah, I, I'm excited. I like these candles. Um, I don't buy them too often because of the price point. Um, but I thought, what the heck. I, I wanted to try all of them. So, yeah, I went ahead and splurged. So, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.